Welcome back to Kids Fun Science. My name's Ken. Today's experiment is Shrinky Dinks. As always, adult supervision is required. What you need for this experiment is the clear polystry plastic uh, number six oven, permanent marker, and a cookie sheet. As you see here, I just got some to-go uh, containers and they have the number six, recycling number six on there. And that's what you're looking for is the number six. They're also in yogurt, um, date, date in uh, yogurt containers. Um, you can look, they have number sixes too um, on there. So um, once you get those and you, I've identified two different kinds, a little small square one and a larger uh, uh, dinner one. There's a six right there, as you can see, kind of. It's a little hard to see, uh, but make sure you got a number six. And once you get that um, there, then you're just gonna cut them out either into large square or smaller squares. So I'm just gonna make three or four different squares here and cut them out. Um, and so uh, you wanna observe too um, how thin the plastic is. Um, because what we're going to be doing is on the experiment is we're going to be putting them in the oven and hence the name shrinky dinks uh, they're going to shrink so and i'll tell you the science behind it so we'll get these cut out and then we will go from there once you got them cut out you can use a hole punch um, and, and just mark one of the corners that way um, if you want to make a key ring or um, you know put something on there you're able to do that so i just did that for a purpose to show you what it is now you guys get to see my artistic skills. Um, that's why I don't have a drawing uh, channel and I have a science channel. So I will draw, attempt to make three drawings for you. Um, and uh, you want to use permanent marker. And um, I'm going to make a little house here. Um, not to be confused with my house because I do not have an apple tree. But I'm going to make an apple tree here and then... Um, I'm going to make a second design. I'm going to draw a flower and um, you go ahead and use different colors. You can use whatever you want, um, but you just want to make sure it's a permanent marker. And then uh, once I get done with my flower and then I'm going to make the last one, um, which is going to be Kids Fun Science, which is my favorite YouTube channel. And so once I get those all set up, uh, we are going to put it into a cookie sheet. So now uh, you can see the pieces are pretty big. Um, I'm putting uh, all three onto one cookie sheet. Uh, make sure you have adult supervision helping you. Set your oven at 370 degrees um, or 170 Celsius and put it in the oven for five minutes. So once we set that up, I will go through um, the science behind this. And so the five minutes is up and we're going to pull them out. Make sure that they are hot. So you're not going to want to touch them. You're going to let them cool, even though they look really cool. And they've shrank down <laughs> tremendously. Uh, pr pretty uh, awesome. And we will look observe them uh, right now after they've cooled down. The science behind it is, well, if you've ever thrown a styrofoam cup into a uh, campfire, you know that styrofoam shrinks considerably when it's heated. If a, uh, you have a two liter bottle and you fill it with boiling water, it will noticeably shrink in size too. Many packets are pre-shrink wrapped um, uh, plastic. So certain types of plastics that are put into windows in the winter for insulation must be shrink fitted with a hair dryer. Polystyrene, which we're using in this experiment, also shrinks when heated. The reason this can be uh, traced back to its manufacturer. In order to make it into film, the polystyrene must be heated, and then it's stretched, and then it's quickly cooled. And this locks the plastic into a particular shape and thickness. So when it's heated again, it becomes unlocked and returns to its original position um, and thickness. You can see here, um, the original piece is very, very thin, but it's a lot thicker um, when we uh, heated it in the, in the oven. I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to click thumbs up and to subscribe. Thanks for watching.